Hykros has sent someone into the quarantine zone. Release the hounds. Target signal lost. I can't locate it anymore. Careful. Something about this place doesn't feel right. is over. Now comes the road to recovery. Good thing we got there in time. Hmm? What's that? Movement? A uh, light? What happened? Hey! Can you see me? Zeke, come here! Are they awake? Suppressor seems to be fine. No need to worry. Where am I? Your suppressor has been replaced with a new energy cell. Feeling better? Much better. And you are? That's Shirley, and I'm Zeke, her brother. I'm in charge of this shelter. You saved me? Of course. We found you passed out behind the shelter and... Your suppressor was out of power, so we brought you in and fixed it. This is Astra Shelter, area code HT501. What's your name? And what are you doing all alone in the mountains? I, I don't know. I can't remember. This person was all bruised up and passed out in the mountain. Probably a lost scavenger. A lost scavenger? Well, tough luck. The Aberrants built a nest in the Machine Cemetery. You're lucky we found you alive. You can stay here until you recover your memories. We did a full scan of your body and everything seems to be in the clear. I... thank you. Go get yourself cleaned up. You look like a mess. Shirley, go show the newcomer to Celine. I've already informed her. Got it. Hey, newbie, this way. Oh, and your weapon is on top of that crate. Don't forget to pick it up. Am I right? Did both you and Zeke grow up here? We have been living here since we were very little. There weren't a lot of people back then. Everyone chipped in to build this place little by little. Hmm? This is... Greetings, I am Mia, a f f f generation smart servant. Mia's my assistant. Zeke found her in one of the ruins. But its language model is a little buggy, so it talks funny sometimes. I apologize. 
guys, I will do my best to make my speech intelligible. Oh, you're fine, Mia. <laughs> C come with me, please. We should not keep Miss Celine waiting. Hey, see that battleship up ahead? That's the Bethlehem. My brother said it's been here for 50 years. 50 years? Yeah, when the cataclysm took place, an Omnium explosion destroyed an entire fleet that was patrolling nearby. Only the Bethlehem managed to land on the island. The shelter was built around its remains. Hey, that's Celine. Let's head on over. So, you're the one they rescued from outside? Uh, hello. I'm here to... You don't seem to be older than Shirley. The outside world must not have been kind to you. Celine, let's help our newcomer get settled in. Yes. Yes. Nothing like some brand new clothes, am I right? Thanks for your help. Anyway, now that's done. You can really show the newcomer around the shelter, see if anything needs help. Leave it to me! I think she likes you. This is the control room. You can monitor every nook and cranny of the shelter here. Morning, Shirley. Morning, Uncle Paul. Is this the one you rescued? How are we feeling today? Much better, thanks. Staying alive is all that matters in times like these. Consider yourself lucky. Ugh, Uncle Paul, is that alcohol I'm smelling? Ugh. Uh, <laughs> I might have had a drink or two last night. I was just going to retrieve the environmental monitoring data. You're still hungover, aren't you, Uncle Paul? <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Wouldn't want you to fall into the water again like last time. I'm detecting some very powerful interferences. These guys came prepared. Huh? You want to do it? That's great. Take the chance to look around the shelter, and you won't get lost with the drone guiding you.
collecting plant sample data. Collecting rock sample. All done? Let's head on back then. Collecting geological... That's enough data samples. Good work. Come back and I'll show you what the other places look like. Job. I'll take the data to Alfred. Anyway, it's all thanks to your help today. Analysis. Long-term consumption of alcohol is hazardous to physical health. Please follow your dietary recommendations. Reduce alcohol consumption and exercise regularly. Mm-hmm. You said it, Mia. Uncle Paul, you'd be smart to listen. I... all right. All right, moving on. 